So what we've got here is a data view for our PLC program. I'm monitoring two floating point channels within the PLC's memory. DF1 is nicknamed the process variable, or PD. DF3 is nicknamed the output. This is the one that's the analog output signal going to my motor drive. DF1 is the process variable signal measuring motor speed. Right now the motor's stopped, which is why we see just a little bit of noise voltage right there. I want to turn the motor on manually. I go to where it says new value. I type in a new value like 40%. Then I need to double click on that thing right there. When I do that, it sends a 40% signal out to my PWM circuit board. It's driving power to the motor, and you now see a motor speed of about 17.5%. If we focus on here, you can see the motor's actually spinning. I can slow it down with my finger. Let's go back to that display. I can slow the motor down with my finger, and notice what happens. That number goes down. I can let go of my finger, and it pops back up. If I go and enter a new output value, instead of 40%, let's go to 80%. That makes the motor spin faster. We see a higher speed on the motor. Once again, I can slow it down with my finger. <coughs> Make sense? So what I've got right here is a way I can manually send signals out to the motor and also read the motor speed. So right now, it's pretty much a manual controller. It doesn't do anything more than that.